Hi there, ladies and gentlemen, it's Anton. Uh, I'm here to show you a little mapping demonstration, uh, maybe a little more advanced techniques in Overgrowth. So I've been playing around with some new custom levels that people have been playing, and I came across this. It's still a work in progress, uh, old town, and it has this cool little uh, sort of um, temple with a statue in it. And one thing I noticed when I came into this place the first time is that all of the walls are incredibly uneven, which both makes it the the tiling effect very obvious, but also the um, wall run can't work as we try to run up and down these things. We can no longer wall run. So I thought I would show you guys a quick little demonstration of ways that you can potentially make uh, your levels like this a little smoother and uh, and a little easier to use. So I'm going to jump out right now into the game editor by pressing the number 9 or escape. And I'm going to try and recreate this temple in real time for you. So the main thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start by taking a block and I'm going to make a copy of it by holding Alt or Option and just moving that block. You'll notice that it leaves the old, ver the old one behind and I can now move it freely. I'm using right click, I'm moving it along the plane. If I were to just normal click on it, I can move it anywhere in the 3D space. So the other useful variation on this is holding Shift and you move it, I believe this is the tangent to the plane, so you move it along that axis that, that cuts through the plane. Sorry if my technical lingo is wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by recreating first just a pillar of this temple. So I'm going to start by dropping it to the ground, and I'm going to keep it kind of close to where his is. So now we're in the ground. And one thing that happens with the editor is as you translate items, you can move them to a grid relative to the size of the object that you're moving. So you can do that by holding the control button and using any of the function tools. And you'll notice that it snaps and a grid appears as I move it. If you hold option and you move along that grid, you'll see that I get a copy that moves and it snaps perfectly in place to the object and even using all three tools I can hold control option and shift and I can stack our pillar three high so now I have a three high pillar and it's actually pretty quick that I can recreate one of these walls I believe I counted it earlier and it is nine spaces across. So using the left and right mouse button at the same time I can drag and select an object and by holding alt and control I can literally just copy our pillar four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. And now I have a wall and if we look, if I go back into Rabot mode, which you can do by pressing the number 8, I can now wall run along this wall with no issues. So again, I'll go back to the games editor. And I can make another parallel wall just by holding Alt and Control. And I can move it off to the side. One thing that I noticed also, if you look at the top here, all of these blocks are facing the same direction. And I, you know, I, I don't feel like it lets us really look at uh, an object and feel like it's real. You can really see the tiling. So I'm going to, on my opposite wall, I'm going to rotate the whole wall so that the it's facing outwards. At least that way I feel like it's a little more consistent. Uh, so holding control and using any of our other tools, if we use the rotate tool, we will actually snap along the plane. So you'll now see that if I just move from side to side, it will snap each thing as we turn it around. So I can essentially 
completely uh, recreate the opposite wall just by rotating it. Now I should make the front and back walls, and what I noticed as I was rotating them, and maybe you did too, is that these are not perfectly square. These are rectangular objects right now. So as I move it off to the side, and we grabbed a couple extra blocks there, I don't want to just, uh, if I rotate this now, which I would like to do so that it's facing outwards, you'll notice that my angle is off. So we will just adjust that so that it's perfectly flush. And anytime you see this sort of highlighting area right along here, that means that the objects that are the same are overlapping. So we need to come just a little bit out to the right, uh, to the left, I'm sorry. And I see a small gap. We can try and fix that. Obviously, this is a time when snapping to another object would be really useful, but we don't have that currently in this iteration. So now we want this to be somewhat even, so I'm going to drag two more versions, and now I can bring back our wall to line up to this. Holding control, I can just shift it along the plane. That was control and right click. This is starting to look pretty good. And now we're just going to create the entrance opening. And I can do that like so. Wow. <laughs> and I will Alt and Control, slide it across to the other side. Didn't want to do that. Let that be a lesson to you. You can't just hold down key commands. Obviously, we lost a little bit of our wall here. And now to complete this entryway, we just need to delete the two. Oh, we need to, yeah. Let's do that by deleting the two in the center. And again, I wanted to have an outward facing dark rim. So I'm just going to select our wall pieces and I will rotate them. Sometimes I've found that the rotation doesn't work perfectly along the snap. I'm not exactly sure why. It has to do with the relation to your camera angle. And it, obviously I just moved my camera while I was holding it and it did not like that very much at all. Ugh. So there we go. I'm going to jump back into Rabot mode. To the game mode. And you'll see now that I have recreated this temple enclosure. But I can wall run along inside. And it makes this space a lot more playable. In terms of how we would use it in, a, in an actual level. So I hope you guys find that useful. And... Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below, and uh, I'll try and bring you some more of these if you guys need them. Thanks. See ya.